So what now? you've been chasing it was inside you all along yeah see Sid knows Sid knows that he killed his brother They'll be damned if I okay never mind he doesn't know what that means <laughs> never mind what is that oh that was Garuda's no the pendant he gave her that Sid gave uh, Benedicta I was gonna say, she's still alive? Like, he tore into her and everything after the nuke, too. Might be dead. Oh, yeah, she's gotta be dead. There's no way. Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? Damn. This man sounded heartbroken. Looks like that's it for Benedicta. There's no way. I don't, there's no way she survived that. And then with Ifrit tearing into her afterwards, too? Nah, bro. Cut. Real quick, active time lore. Nothing, okay. Yeah, looks like that's it for her. Damn. Sometime later, another war. Another skirmish on that battlefield, probably. Oh, it's different. Uh, let's see here. The Royal Knights of Wallowed. The uh, Kingdom of Wallowed's main battlefield forces, also known as the King's Guard, while they ultimately answer to King Barnabas, the Knights' order are usually inspired by the Lord Commander, the Royal Intelligencer, uh, Intelligencers, a special unit led by Benedicta Harmon, dominant of Garuda, and a notable exception to this role reporting as they do directly to the King. Alright. So this place is called Bellinus Tor. Bellinus Tor, named for the fight of uh, highest of its peaks, Sambrex Bellinus Tor is a region of rolling grassy hills, uh, slightly inland of where the Strait of Altha meets the Sea of Grace in the years 873. It was the site of the decisive battle of King Walaod, or Wal uh, Kingdom of Walaod's failed bid to regain a foothold on Storm. Odin. Odin. That shit looks She's dope. Bold. Desperate. Dion? I don't know who he is. I don't think we've been introduced to him yet. Alright, we have Odin. The Warden of Darkness who rides into battle atop the Spectral Steed and whose black blade is said to be sharp enough to split the very seas in twain. His latest dominant, King Barnabas. What? King Barnabas is Wallowit? Bro, they were stacked. You're telling me they had Benedicta. They had Odin, and then they also had, um, uh, what's his name, Sid. So they had three dominants. How are they not taking the whole realm at that point, you know what I mean? Empire of Sembrek, nation occupying Drake's head, foothold on a our flame, uh, ever since the Battle of Twin Realms in 865, and judging by their clash at the Bell and his tour in 873, neither side, side shows any sign of backing down. Them and the Wallowids. Kingdom of Wallowed, same, same stuff. Uh, having ceded territory to the Holy Empire of Sambrek in the Battle of the Twin Realms in 1865, or 865, the Wallowetters launched an attack on Bellinus Tor in 873 with the intent of regaining their lost foothold on the continent across the strait. Which is crazy that they lost it at all. Who is the dominant for fucking Sambrek? Because they've got to be nuts to fucking beat three dominants, right? There is no way. Of course. And look at this real quick. Does this not kind of look like the girl that was like, kind of look like maybe they're like related that was with the flame uh, dominant? Maybe this is the flame dominant, this is Dion? I don't know. Quico's breath for your wings. Oh, never mind. I guess it's going to show off. It's going to be another dominant right here. Yep. 
Oh shit! The big ass fucking wyvern dragon. Yeah, no, bro. It's tough for everyone on that battle. <laughs> it's fun. No, oh, chalk it up. Bahamut. Oh shit. Well, it's Bahamut, but I always call it Bahamut. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. Oh my yo, did he just slash his fucking photon ray out of the air? That man's got a mean gets a potential. <laughs> oh shit, and he can fucking fly on a horse. What the fuck? Hey yo, I just noticed this man's galloping through the air. This is nuts, what the hell? Wait, so why does he need that spear? Is that like Odin's weapon? Like, but in like the human form, I guess? Or that's how you take control of Odin as a dominant? I don't know. Why did he need that weapon that like when he jumped off and then gave it back after Before he was done? Cohorts. At once. Dragoon Knight Commander. So he's from Sambrek. Because Sambrek has the dragoons. Fucking Wakanda forever when they step in the building. What the hell? Saboteurs. They have some betrayers. And widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital. Hold on, let me see here. Uh, we should get yep. Dion Lesage, leader of the dragoons, the most elite warriors of the Holy Empire of Sembrek. Who are the first to leap into the fray when the Empire finds itself under threat, often literally. Dion is also the dominant of Bahamut, Warden of Light. Okay, so he was Bahamut. Right, right, right. right. He's not Odin. Okay. Father, his radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guards strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. Damn. So you're, you're, that's it. That's all you got. Safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. So Bahamut, or Bahamut, whatever you want to call him, he is so strong that he can repel three fucking dominants? There's no way, dude. I mean, I think he is the, he's always been like the strongest summon, if I remember correctly, or at least the one that appears the latest in the games, uh, from the mainline summons. So I guess that makes sense. But still, like, you're that powerful, you can take on three motherfuckers at the same time? It's Clive. Did, uh, Sid lock him up? Yeah, he just finally realized that he killed his brother. I killed Joshua. This revelation's happening a lot earlier than I thought it would. Why is this man naked? Give him some goddamn clothes. Uh, Clive, dominant of Garuda. Wait, wait. However, after being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, Domino Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awakens within him and he discovers that the Domino of Fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other but himself. Yeah, this revelation came a lot quicker down the, the storyline than I thought it was going to. Which makes me wonder, what are the late game twists and turns going to be? They've got to be crazy, you know? Ifri, a fire aspected icon of the first that first emerged in the year of the realm of 860, when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal, infernal flame, the Phoenix creature flung itself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. Its reappearance was to usher in a second shock revelation that its dominant was none other than Clive Rossfield. Second son of the Archduke of Rosaria, heir to the D Ducal Throne, upon the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, the shock of seeing his father slain before disbelieving eyes led to him losing control of his icon and settling or setting a castle alight. From the flames rose a second icon of fire, whose murderous rampage laid both the castle and the Phoenix low. They didn't say he died, though. Unless, like, setting them low means death, but I don't, I don't know that saying. I've never heard of it. 
But you can only assume that Josh was big dead, you know. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. <laughs> Didn't know you had it in you. Yeah, no, literally. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster, and I deserve Damn. to die. So end it, end it now, please, please. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> I reckon I can take you if that's what you want. But first. I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. That performance was really good out of Clive. Holy shit. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. <laughs> This man is emotionally distraught and he's making jokes and it's like, uh, you know what, I'll see you when you're ready and all. <laughs> like, fuck, man. <laughs> that is fucked. Damn. This place looks so fucking dark. Jesus. It's not just you guys, it's on my screen too. This fucking segment just looks insanely dark. What are you going to do now? Your mom. Was he talking to himself? I guess? I don't know, I guess. The Wages of Guilt. Quest lock. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made in the main scenario. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a lock on their question. Or on their go fucking thingy. May as well hear what he has to say. He put us in the cell, see? We were wondering what the cells were for. I guess they were for us. <laughs> oh, shit. I wonder if uh, Jill is okay oh, yet. Throw you back in there now, eh? Oh, shut up. Let's see, there's a, a shop, Karen's shop, or Karen's shop, the forge is uh, also updated, Eret's stone is updated, where we can see those two new modes, thousand times, and a uh, thousand tomes, sorry. Let's actually talk to uh, Karen, though. Well, let's speak with Sid first, and then we'll talk to Karen. Okay. You crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Damn. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. <laughs> well, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. That is true. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. Yeah, I was gonna say, so that guy's the new Phoenix, right? Sense. I've gone through a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. I mean, Sid still wants to meet this Dominant for one reason or another. So we're probably going to have to go track him down anyways. Um, Journey to King's Fall. Where is that? I wanna, how do you see the world map? Here we go. Where is King's Fall? Have we been there before? I don't I don't remember. I don't think we have. The King's Fall. Here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and bournes to converge into a single resplendent uh, cataract where a bygone king is said to have lost both life and kingdom. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> well, either way, it looks like we're good here. So these are probably the two continents then, because they were saying the two continents, this is the two continents I'm assuming. I wonder what this big ass hole in the middle is, what the fuck? 
It looks like there's blight around it, too. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I thought the map would be bigger, but, um... What's it called? I, I'm assuming these are the two continents, because, like, it gets divided up, and then... Yeah, okay, that's probably what the two continents are. I thought the map was going to expand even more, but I don't think so anymore. Yes? What? Browse Charon's Toll, yes, Going yes. Weighing you down. A better sword. We've used Gil for nothing, so definitely getting the Bastard Sword. Well, it's Bastard Sword, not Battled Batot Sword. Uh, the Bastard Sword is a popular choice amongst mercenary alliances because its size not too long and not too short. Not too light and not too heavy. Accommodates a variety of fighting styles, both one and two-handed. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know where that cough came from. Oh, but yeah, we're getting that bastard sword for sure. Better I'll be Equip here. it, yes. We'll get the best belt money you can buy as well. The gold work sash. Yeah, blind, you know. It says, while it is the rarity and luster of gold that makes it the standard of wealth in the realm, the alchemist covets for its lesser known third quality, uh, ethereal, ethereal conductivity. Unlike most metals, gold has the innate ability to channel aether and even amplify its effects, making it invaluable to those who wish to extract the full potential from a crystal or a bearer. Get the best bracers as well. It says, when worn by a skilled combatant, the twin chains wrapped around these otherwise simple bucklers can be used to ensnare enemy blades, providing the defender with precious moments in which to deliver unhindered counterattacks. Sounds yeah, good. I didn't even know that was a thing for bucklers, huh? Let's see, Rook's Gambit. Uh... It gives you Rook's Gambit cooldown time uh, reduced by uh, 2.7 seconds. That's huge, actually. I'm telling you, man. Cooldown time stuff is going to be major for me in this game. I could tell. Uh, you know what? We'll get, like, we'll get two potions. It'd and we'll get a uh, yeah. high potion. You'll not find a better price than that. Actually, we'll get, we'll get another high potion. So we'll try to find the rest in our know. travels. Um... No, I will actually do three potions. It's not that expensive. We don't use gill for anything else. We might as well, right? Could we sell anything? Uh, yes, we have the broadsword we can sell. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell. Wait, imperial infantry blade. Yeah, we'll. we'll oh, mm. I don't know if this is a game where like that first blade will actually be like one of the best games if you like build on it or not. I have no idea. I don't think so. We'll just go ahead and get rid of the broadsword, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of the broadsword. Let's get rid of it. I'll be thankful we can always buy it back much. if we want to, right? Yeah, we can always buy it back if we need to. We can't buy the infantry blade, though, it looks like. Uh, we'll get rid of the... We'll, get, we'll leave all the infantry stuff, but all the, like, secondary gear we'll get rid of. I reckon I can find a buyer. Mm, oh, we could sell these. I'm not going to use heat waves, so we could actually get rid of this one. We'll keep it for now. We don't need to sell it. Gnarled scales, clouded eyes. Excuse me, sorry. And everything else we're gonna no. keep. So let's go and see if we can upgrade these at the blacksmith here. Well, but I ain't the cook, am I? <laughs> Look. Oh, they don't fully voice act these. Doesn't hurt to forge. Here's the hottest uh, this side of hell, or that it works without magic. I have no bearer Life suffering on me. Repairing. No, on me. Whatever. You got anything that needs repairing or retooling? You bring it here, along with your own materials and any scraps left over. Yeah, another time. So we can ask them stuff. So we should ask them like this stuff, and it's not voice for some reason, which is weird. Taking an interest, are you? Wondering why such a calmly uh, cultured lady would cast her lot with this rabble. Because she's got a special arrangement with the rival rouser, that's why. I scratch his back and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay I'm what I ask. The deal. He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes from those who'd wish me ill, and there's no shortage of them, believe you and me. Suppose I'll see you around. Okay, so now we'll see if we can actually upgrade our items. Hopefully we can. I see I'm busy here. Same for you, dear. Ooh, what is this? We could do... What's the difference? So spurred by our cries did wind come... Uh, we come the storm. What do I need for this, though? Like, I could get an entirely new blade just from this wind shard? I wonder if I could get other stuff. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Should we use it? I don't know if this is get Like, if we could use it for something else. 
We just bought the Bastard Sword. I mean, the Bastard Sword sounds cool and all, but bro, Stormcry sounds dope, right? Fuck it, let's, let's get Stormcry. We lost you a good while. Dress to the fives. Oops. Does that say? No. Let me see. No, I want to see the achievement. I don't know. Let me see the achievement. Equip the newly crafted item. Yes. I mean, to be fair, uh, no, I guess, yeah. No, it is a better weapon, so we have that. Okay, cool. Oh, I should have gone to the other tabs to see if there was something else I could have got. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. Uh, whatever. Alright, so we've got, uh, which one? Wait, what? This is just random ones. We already have a better one, though. Yeah. Dark Sash, Wolfskin Sash. I mean, we don't need these. We got something better. What is this? Is that health? What is that stat on the right? Doesn't really tell you. Compare gear. Less armor, but it gives you more vitality? I don't know. It says, uh, Oft gifted by a knight's paramour on the day of their beloved's first foray into the wild, traveler's bands are little more than pretty shells, broken glass. The shards are depleted crystal affixed to the leather band, but it's a thought that counts. I don't really know what that stat is. So that was straight up crafting. Okay. Now we can reinforce. Can we reinforce Stormcry? No, we cannot. Ah. Uh, okay. It looks like stuff only goes to plus two. Hey, which one? We have the iron belt, right? What do we need for that? We need iron belt plus... Why can't we do plus one? What? What's going on? I'm confused. Because we need an iron belt plus one to do this, but we only have the regular... No, we don't have an iron belt. We have something else, right? Yeah, we have something else. That's that's why I'm confused. This crown trailers. This one's better. The steel crowns too, but... Oh, that stat was HP. And it's literally just like chump change HP. It's not like anything crazy. It. Yeah, we're fine as is. Fine. We got this fucking Garuda blade on us now. It looks fucking dope. Let's see. Is there anything else here? We'll visit like the Eret Stone and stuff. But other than that, nah. Probably call it here. For uh, the hideaway. So we have the arcade mode. We play any previously cleared stage and we awarded a score based on the performance. Restrictions on level gear consumables are applied. Game uh, Gameplay mode will be default to action focus. Stage replay. Replay any previously cleared stage but at current level. Treasure coffer data is retained. I don't know what that means. Like if you haven't gotten uh, like a chest from there, maybe we can go back and get a chest, I'm assuming. I don't know. What's this? Is. You, you, you. Orchestrion. Did we get anything new? I don't think so. Maybe the Sound of Silence? I don't know. And then the Tome guy as well. Eat your food while it's hot and see the Let's just update. I know he has like a level system. I don't know if he gives you stuff you based on what level you are. Or perhaps. Let's see here. Amateur analyst to ravenous reader. <laughs> there is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Tell us about the Valestain calendar and the Aegis or Aegis, whatever. What subject I'm assuming it's that today? the Garuda's like little offshoots that we had there, right? Did you learn everything you needed? Hey, let's ask about Hippocrates or Hippocrates. And how might this old when I was very young? And live beyond these shores, my father would read to me every night from the only book we had, A History of Alstea by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by the realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley that I might see it with my own eyes. Yet, when I arrived... What I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by the blight and the evil in men's heart. Still, I was determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could, and so I did, in all manner of places and all manner of roles, until my aging legs could carry me no longer. Sid found me by the roadside, so to speak, and offered me a place here, when I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. Okay. Do come again. And that's it for here. No side quests at the hideaway yet. Nothing. So we can go ahead and actually uh, go to the King's Landing. It was King's Land, King's Fall, the King's Fall. 
Alright guys, just letting you know, if you guys are enjoying sitting here live watching, or you're watching on a walk, please consider dropping a like and a subscription if you're not already uh, subscribed. The Holy Empire of Sambrek, so we're still in Sambrek territory here. Sambrek. What's going on? Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Yeah. Making it the perfect little shortcut. <laughs> Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. They haven't really expanded on the blight as much either, which I'm very interested in. The King's Fall. Located in the western Sabrak near the Rosarian border, the King's Fall is a towering cataract fed by the waters of multiple converging tributaries. Though the waters long played their integral part of the lives of nearby settlers, an influx of displaced beasts fleeing from the blight has forced many to abandon their claim to the resource. Gab. Sid's faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking movements of slavers, soldiers, and other objects of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. And look, yeah, the sword does appear in the cutscenes, like I was wondering earlier. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Yes. Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... To what? Fuck, finish your thought, please. That was an Imperial signal. Oh, shit. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. One what thing I'm wondering too, what has happened to the Rosarian, uh, it. the Rosarian Empire? Like, are they now upheld by the mom? And she's in league with the Semperek, so they're like super tight allies now? Or what? 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 What is the next steps for Semperek's empire? Or Semperek, uh, the Rosarian Empire? The Hunter and the Hunted. What's this? What was that? Hey, what's, what is this? After it. <laughs> you can give us some treats. Hey, we give we give Targle some treats now. Come on, I mean he earned it, man. You telling me this man Hurricane rotted uh, half transformed Garuda and doesn't deserve some treats and pets? Ah, oh, bro, we're dedicating these next like 30 seconds to treating Torgal like the king he is. We have like little dog biscuits on us or something? I don't know what those are. <laughs> little petty boy, look at him. Oh, he's so happy. Get oh, you can pet the dog! Trophy earned. Oh my god, it's still bugging out. I think it said pet him five times. I didn't even know it was a ding. Alright. We'll do one more pet for the good boy. <laughs> yeah, belly rubs. All right. Enough of that. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, you learned a little bit more about what's actually going on. Like before this, you didn't know, like, you know, you were the dominant of fire. I mean, even then, we don't know who this new guy is, right? That's something interesting all on its own. Like, who is this new fucking guy? That is, um... Who is this new guy that is the dominant of fire? I feel like even if you don't care about it, you should still know about it, right? That way, if you see him on the battlefield, you know to run the fuck away from this guy. I just upped the brightness a little bit because it's a little bit dark in this game. So, or uh, the contrast, sorry, not the brightness. So I hope it's good for you guys. I'm looking around, yeah, it doesn't look grayed out or anything, so... Should be, yeah, it, should, it looks a lot better. It looks a lot better, in my opinion. So we'll keep it like this. Those dark areas are really dark in this game, man. Alright. Some bugs or something. Oh, no! That's a Black Widow? Bro, I'd kill myself. Nah, bro, straight up. <laughs> Fuck that, nah. You're not hitting me with no fucking Black Widow. Get me the fuck out of there. I'm trying to hit them while they're in here, but it's not, it's not working for us. 
New enemy? Hey, yo! You guys are pretty tanky too for some fucking jobber spiders here. I love that cyclone ability, it's so good. And it comes up way faster than the damn other ulti. And even Garuda's ulti, look, it's already freaking a quarter or a third of the way over to the next one. So Garuda's ulti, or the fucking Phoenix ulti comes up way too slow in my opinion. It is not worth it. It's just way too long, the wait time.